Putin's anti-LGBT crackdown just got even worse. Recently, the Russian president signed a bill that prohibits, quote, any actions or spreading of any information that is considered an attempt to promote homosexuality in public, online, or in films, books, or advertising. He initially signed a law in June of 2013, which called for a ban on, quote, unquote, gay propaganda in Russia. The law's text stated that it was created to protect children from, quote, propaganda of non-traditional sexual relationships. The the children. Yeah, it's the kids. It's all about the, the children. However, the new law affects Russians of all ages. The law is often used to silence LGBT activist, uh, activist outlets, as well as to harass teachers and break up non-traditional families quote-unquote, non-traditional families. The United Nations Committee on the Rights of the Child, Amnesty International, Human Rights Watch, and several civil rights um, activists around the globe have severely criticized the law. On the other hand, religious leaders against the LGBT and right-wing political leaders from the U.S. showed a lot of support for Putin's laws and praised him for it. So just to quickly emphasize the difference, in 2013, this famous gay propaganda bill was passed. And so... That's what most people are familiar with. And then what was just signed into law expands it even more. The previous law was just supposed to be, you know, about the children, quote unquote, in in theory, in practice. It was very persecutory in general. And then this is just expanding it to put it in law, way more totalistic and on the books, a way bigger um, uh, restriction on free expression. On many different ways. Yeah, by the way, this is part of his broader global fight against the forces of darkness in his mind, right? So for a lot of people don't understand that his fight in Ukraine, and his war in Ukraine, and this are part of the same battle in his mind uh, over, you know, conservative family values fighting over the degeneracy of liberalism that is taking all over the world, right? Um, these are all part of the same thing. Like they're, ta- they're on the side of good and uh, liberalism is just spreading unnatural um, degeneracy everywhere. And it's just taking the whole world out of balance. And he just thinks that Russia, you know, the Soviet Union was a su- superpower that was like, um, yeah, kept the world in balance. Like he had like a, Thanos kind of philosophy that, you know, it made sense during the Cold War to have two superpowers that keeps both of them going from going to into extremes, right? And he thinks with one of these superpowers being taken out, now the other side is just going so far, b- b- um, spreading its ideology without any checks and balances that is just going becoming unnatural and it's just destroying the foundation of society uh, from from. Uh, from within globally so he doesn't think like when he's these fights that he's fighting he doesn't think that this is just for russia's sake he thinks that this is a battle for the for the soul of the society globally um and that's what that's his philosophy right which is yeah d is saying he's still in empire mode that's a good way of putting it yeah but um i just can't imagine how this is gonna work with the new generation because if this is if he wants the the way that these bands are going to seem to be working any form of um normalization of lgbt relationships are going to be bad right and i don't know if you guys have noticed but most like more and more movies have at least some gay characters in them or lgbt character in them right and um, more importantly, that movies and, and cartoon shows and everything, uh, video games, which Generation Z is like, it's it's a major part of Generation Z's uh, entertainment, and they take that very seriously, like video games, right? Um, and these are games that a lot of Russian y- young Russians con- are eagerly waiting for every time they are released, right? And having a single LGBT character in them will make them uh, banned in Russia, which a lot of most of them now have at least one LGBT character. And this is a really good way to turn the new generations against you, Putin. You know, there's 
this is a sure way to become very very unpopular among because they will they will try to figure out a way to go around it and they're going to see you as the person in the way of their video of their video games right mm -hmm. and again no i'm not like dismissing video video games are extreme sources of entertainment and pleasure for a lot of people right and given how much you made life miserable for them <laughs> outside of the in you know outside video games this is a escape from reality that they might actually really need and now you're trying to take that away from them as well so yeah i mean long term i just think this is going to i mean i understand russia currently um is still majority pro putin and very conservative and anti-lgbt mm -hmm. i just think longer term all of this is going to turn i mean you should learn from iran when you try to force this upon your people um there's you know it, it, it might be it actually might backfire right um the the more the more you isolate your people and the more you try to box them in into your own philosophy the more they're likely than in long term they're going to lash out and go in the exact opposite direction so this might actually be eventually the reason why i mean the soviet union's um extreme uh, closed-minded isolation tactics made russia a lot more open than they were before so maybe this is just another version of the same thing happening and then what you know we'll see what happened to the soviet union maybe will will happen again to russia in the future so mm. we'll see what do you think about how this well actually before i get into that i want to highlight something really quickly like i don't know if people understand the consequences of policies like this so mm. when the first version of this ban came into existence in 2013 the level of persecution against the gay community lgbt community in general became so severe so it was initially supposed to be things around essentially not giving any form of sex education that included any reference to lgbt or anything like any recognition to any media that this is a thing that exists any and this includes like resources for children that are struggling like how to find mental health support like all things like this and so you would might think that that's kind of the realm that it remained in no like i watched this documentary i think it was on vice i wish i could remember the name but there were like squads that were formed of extremist like fascist men who would go around and entrap gay men maybe through finding them on an app or maybe they just knew who they were throughout the community and i literally cannot say on youtube like what they would do to these men and they were emboldened to do this by these policies and tacitly encouraged by it by this law in 2013 and like yeah i can't talk about like the details of the torture that they would put these men through um so i just want people to kind of like grasp like what this really means in real life because you might think oh okay you know like some media is banned like free expression that's not good okay da 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 but it actually has really extreme physical life-altering consequences to people um so i i hope that helps people understand like the reality that lgbt russians face um oh we yeah. have a couple of super I... chats from secular sakai that we should acknowledge yeah i forgot to highlight the first one and he just gave us a second one even though i forgot to highlight the first one. Oh my and the God. first one secular is talking sakai gave us five dollars thank you so much saying just donated 25 dollars to the atheist republic gofundme small plug to remind people that that is still up yes, wow link in donating the description. money to advertise that you just already gave us more money is incredible thank you so much um yes. thank and you. secular sakai also gave us ten dollars saying okay i don't know how to say this <laughs> za slovoda rusi freedom in russia ps youtube has blocked the white blue white hearts 
for me in super chats. I am sad. Well, that's weird. Aww. But Why thank you does... for your generosity and thank you for your constant wishes of freedom across the world to all people. I like I like how Secular Sakai uses emoticons. Like he uses the lion circle horse to show the Atheist Republic logo up here. And then he uses the gay flag next to the white blue white flag for <laughs> Russia. This is the base the white blue white represents the Russian flag without the red, uh, which is like a more peaceful version of russia i guess that's what it represents right mm -hmm. it's a liberation uh flag of for russia right so yeah thank you again for the super chat that's very sweet yeah um, he's very creative with the emojis i love it yeah i like it. an artiste an artiste of emoticons <laughs> <laughs> get my best-selling book why there is no god for free click on the link for it in the description